During their time in the NBA together, Michael Jordan and Larry Bird were in a lot of tough matches. Even though his airness had a hard time beating Bird and the Boston Celtics, he had great individual games that made life very hard for the C's in the 1980s. Even after he stopped fighting with Larry for a long time, both as a player and as a head coach, Jordan had nothing but respect for Larry. No matter how many great small forwards came after Larry Bird, MJ thought Bird was the best. Starting us off, Michael Jordan said Larry Bird is far better than LeBron James and any other small forward in NBA history. MJ really liked Bird because he was the one who helped him and Magic Johnson become the GOAT. Jordan had never won a game against Larry Legend, so when Larry said he was leaving the beautiful game, Jordan was glad. Even LeBron James, who is now considered one of the top two players of all time, couldn't convince MJ that he was better than Larry. Jordan wrote in the book, when the game was ours, how much he admired Bird and how good he was compared to the other players who came before and after him. The GOAT says that not even LeBron James could compare to Larry, which shows how great Jordan thought number 33 was. Larry was a fight, said Michael Jordan. He is still. People always ask me who my top five players of all time are, and when I start to say Larry, they cut me off. You've got to be kidding me, they say. He can't play with LeBron. You guys don't get it, I tell them. Larry is much better than any small forward who has ever played the game. In fact, I'm still not sure if he's a small forward or a power forward. The argument about who is better, LeBron James or Larry Bird, has been going on for a while. Many people think that James was the best small forward of all time before Bird, but Jordan was not so sure. Even Bird gave LeBron a lot of praise and said that some of his teammates' good games were because of him. Now that LeBron has made a lot of history in Miami, Cleveland, and Los Angeles, the debate may be over. But it would be interesting to know what Jordan thinks about it. Well, legendary picture of Michael Jordan playing ping pong while Larry Bird drinks beers sitting next to children's toys. The famous Dream Team from 1992 was so good that it got its own spot in the Hall of Fame. After the U.S. didn't do as well as they wanted, they put together the best team the world had ever seen and dominated the Olympics in Barcelona. The team had great players from the 1980s and 90s, like Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, but Michael Jordan was the main draw. During the 1992 season, the Dream Team made a lot of history. One of them is that Michael Jordan made Chuck Daly play golf again just so he could beat him. It also looks like the team played a lot of ping pong. Someone said that Christian Lettner and Michael Jordan had played ping pong against each other more than once. And a famous picture from that time that shows Michael Jordan and Larry Bird has been found again. So many questions come to mind about what is going on here. Michael Jordan is playing ping pong, but is he winning? And why is Larry Bird on the floor with kids' toys all around him while he drinks beer? We need a lot more information, and I think we'd all like to know what happened in this picture. Maybe the famous Amad Rashad can tell us more, but no matter what the story is, NBA fans love that picture. There isn't a single NBA fan who doesn't love seeing pictures of some of the best players in the league. Fans had a lot to say about this picture in the comments. One person said, two legends just working through a rigorous pregame warm-up. What is even going on here? Asked someone else. During the Dream Team, Michael Jordan took over from Magic Johnson and Larry Bird, who had been playing for a long time. Since this happened a long time ago, fans only have pictures like this to remind them of that amazing time when the best of the best played together. Next, Kevin Durant says Michael Jordan is the GOAT, while LeBron James is the most accomplished player in NBA history. Michael Jordan, who was the most popular player in the NBA in the 1990s, and LeBron James, who was the most popular player in the NBA in the 2010s. Fans can't help but compare the two legends, even though they're both great in their own ways. Many people think that Jordan is the GOAT after looking at the careers side by side. On the other hand, there's still talk that James will one day be better than the Bulls legend. But as of right now, if there's a pyramid of all-time goats, Mike is at the top, and Brooklyn Nets superstar Kevin Durant seems to agree. Jamal Crawford, who used to be a big name in the NBA, recently did an interview with Kevin Durant. At one point during the interview, Crawford asked KD to play a word game. Crawford then got Durant to say what he really thought about Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Braun, said Crawford, KD, most important, the best at what they do, about to pass Kareem, which is going to be a day. Crawford, Jordan, the GOAT, said KD. When he heard MJ's name, Durant didn't think twice. He definitely answered the first thing that came to mind. But that doesn't mean he didn't treat LeBron with respect. He actually gave him a lot of praise by saying that he was the best player. Speaking of that, LeBron has done a lot of great things in his career, but his record in the playoffs is without a doubt one of the best. When it comes to the playoffs, he can turn things around. Moving on, Michael Jordan showed some surprising humility when it came to the new 
NBA MVP trophy. When making an award, it can be hard to find the right balance between form and function. The piece has to make sense, but it can't be a complicated puzzle instead of a trophy. As an example, think about the new NBA MVP award. Mark Smith, who worked on Air Jordan, made the trophy, which is a clear nod to a famous Jordan dunk. There are also some references to his airness, like the statue that is 23.6 inches tall to honor MJ's number 23 and six NBA championships. But when it comes to the figure dunking the ball, the picture is meant to be unclear. It's not the face of Jordan. There's no jersey for the Chicago Bulls. It's a simple man. It looks like Jordan was the one who made that truth happen. The legend, who is known for being very competitive, surprised everyone by taking a step back. The trophy is about the person who gets it, not the man for whom it's named. This is right out of his mouth. The player should see themselves in this, not me, Smith told Roderick Boone of the Charlotte Observer. As soon as he said, not me, it made sense. I said, okay, this is a theme for everyone. This is not a uniformed man. This is a person trying to get to that. And the raw to refined story really became about how to put all of that together. That was a very hard task. It was a great problem to solve. Christopher Arena, the NBA's head of on-court and brand partnerships, shared a similar take. Jordan was grateful and flattered, and he really wanted to help design the trophy, he said. And I think that was his way of saying, I get it. I understand why players, league officials, and everyone else would want me to have that honor. But here's what it means to me, and here's what it should mean to the person who wins it. So that's why you could see how humble he was in the way the trophy was made. And while that might seem strange, Jordan was never afraid to flex his metaphorical muscles to show who was boss. So taking a step back isn't completely out of character, at least in terms of basketball history. In an old interview with Michael Wilbon, his heirness said that he wouldn't call himself the best out of respect for those who came before him. I would never say that I'm the best player if you asked me. That's because I never played against any of the league's players before Michael Jordan, he said. So from that point of view, MJ's view on the MVP award isn't all that surprising. Jordan may be a fierce competitor who's willing to beat anyone who gets in his way, but he seems to care about the NBA's past. Even though he wants to be the most popular guy on campus, not everything is about him. Well, Nike executive reveals Michael Jordan helped him design the MVP trophy. The NBA is taking a risk by changing the names of all the awards they give out at the end of the season. We knew that the MVP award for the finals is called the Bill Russell Award, that the MVP award for the All-Star Game is called the Kobe Bryant Award, and the award for the best player in the conference finals is called the Larry Bird and Magic Johnson Award. All of the NBA's regular season awards have been renamed after legendary players. The MVP award is now called the Michael Jordan Award. The NBA said that Jordan and Mark Smith, a retired VP of Innovation Special Projects at Nike Incorporated and a Jordan brand designer worked together to come up with the idea for the trophy. Smith and MJ talked about how the new trophy would be made. Smith said, I'm very proud to have worked with Michael Jordan to make the NBA's MVP trophy. The chance and challenge of a lifetime were to turn Michael's vision of his own quest for athletic success into this award. As we worked on this project together, it was very important to Michael that the figure did not look like him, but that the person who got the award could see himself in it. For Michael, it was enough that the award was named after him. The NBA will look to the MJ Award as a sign of excellence, but a lot of people have asked if the trophy shouldn't have been named after someone else. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, cheers!